And that's why we go with the metaphysics. Yeah, makes more sense for sure. Yeah. So everybody well, take a beat, deep breath. <sighs> All right. And I am going to change our backdrop and I am going to move over here and get out of the way. And we are going to listen to Bill do his wonderful rendition. And this will be the first ever on Zoom. <laughs> so maybe we'll start a new tradition. You guys can tell us whether you want this to be a new tradition or a once only thing. I vote for a new tradition. <laughs> I, I love this. Yeah, so I, I will make my exit. I'll be back to say goodbye, but I'm going to give him center stage <clears throat> as we do a Christmas cup of tea. I'm going to, of course, take a sip first. Okay, here we go. The log was in the fireplace, all spiced and set to burn. At last, the yearly Christmas race was in the clubhouse turn. The cards were in the mail, all the gifts beneath the tree and 30 days reprieve till Visa could catch up with me. You know, <laughs> and though smug satisfaction seemed the order of the day, something still was nagging me and would not go away. A week before I got a letter from my old great aunt. It read, of course I'll understand completely if you can't with the COVID and all. But if you find you have some time, how wonderful if we could have a little chat and share a Christmas cup of tea. She'd had a mild stroke that year, which had crippled her left side. Though housebound now, my folks had said it hadn't hurt her pride. They said she'd love to see you. What a nice thing it would be for you to go and maybe have a cup of Christmas tea. But boy, I didn't want to go, oh, what a bitter pill, to see an old relation and how far she'd gone downhill. I remembered her as vigorous, as funny, and as bright. I remembered Christmas Eve's when she regaled us half the night. I didn't want to risk all that. I didn't want the pain. I didn't need to be depressed, I didn't need the strain. And what about my brother? Why not him? She's his aunt too. I thought I had it justified, but then before I knew the reasons not to go I so painstakingly had built were cracking wide and crumbling in an acid rain of guilt. So I put on boots and gloves and cap, shame stinging every pore, and armed with a squeegee, sand, mat, GS, and mask, I went out my front door. I drove in from the suburbs to the older part of the town. The pastels of the, of the newer homes gave way to the grays and browns. I had that disembodied feeling as the car pulled up and stopped beside the wooden house that held the Christmas cup. And how I got up to her front door, I really couldn't say. I watched my, my hand raise up and press the button of the bell. I waited aided by my nervous rocking to and fro. And just as I was thinking I should turn around and go, I heard the rattle of the china and the hutch against the inside wall, the triple beat of two feet and a crutch coming down the hall. The clicking of the door latch and the sliding of the bolt and a little swollen struggle popped it open with a jolt. She stood there, pale and tiny, looking fragile as an egg. I forced myself from staring at the brace that held her leg. And though her thick bifocal seemed to crack and spread her eyes, their milky and refracted depths lit up with young surprise. Come in, come in, she laughed the words. She took me by the hand and all my fears dissolved away as if by her command. We went inside and then before I knew how to react, before my eyes and ears and nose was Christmas, past, alive, intact. The scent of candied oranges and cinnamon and pine, the antique wooden soldiers in their military line on the mantel, 
the porcelain nativity I've always loved so much was there, and the Dresden and the crystal I've been told I mustn't touch as a youth. My spirit fairly bolted like a child out of class and danced among the ornaments of calico and glass. Like magic, I was six again, deep in a Christmas spell, steeped in the million memories the child inside knew so well. And here among the old Christmas cards so lovingly displayed, a special place of honor for the ones we kids had made. She still had them. And there beside her rocking chair, the center of it all, my great aunt stood and said, how nice it was that I'd come to call. I sat and rattled on about the weather and the pandemic. She listened very patiently, then smiled and said, so what's new? Thoughts and words began to flow. I started making sense. I lost the phony breeziness I use when I get tense. She was still passionately interested in everything I did. She was positive, encouraging, like when I was a kid. Simple generalities still sent her into fits. She demanded the specifics, the particulars, the bits. We talked about the limitations that she'd had to face and social distancing and Zooming. She spoke with her utter candor and with humor and good grace then defying the reality of crutch and straightened knee, on wings of hospitality, she flew to brew the tea. And when she did, I sat alone with feelings that I hadn't felt uh, in years. I looked around at Christmas through a thick, hot blur of tears. And the candles and the holly she'd arranged on every shelf, the impossibly good cookies she still remembered somehow baked herself. But these rich tactile memories became quite pale and thin when measured by the Christmas my great aunt kept deep within. Her body halved and nearly spent, but my great aunt was whole. I saw a Christmas miracle, the triumph of a soul. The triple beat of two feet at a crutch came down the hallway again, the rattle of the china in the hutch against the wall too. She poured two cups, she smiled, and then she handed one to me. And then we settled back and had a cup of Christmas tea. Beautiful. It's, I just love that. I, I, and I, it, you always make me tear up <laughs> when, when you are observing the room full of Christmas. Um, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Did you write that, Bill? Oh, no. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, it was written by Tom Hedge. Okay. Tom Hegg, H-E-G-G. -G -G. Yep. We'd hold the book up, but what's interesting is the book is green and our yeah. green screen is green. So when you hold it up. Oh, it's black. Oh, it actually, it, it kind of disappears. Actually, yeah. it's doing better now than yeah. it, if yeah. I bring it closer, it does better. Yeah. But see how it takes anything that's yeah. green <laughs> disappears completely. And so like if I put oh. it up, <laughs> oh. I can't, can, can't tell the difference between the book and the green screen. <laughs> you just performed a magic trick. Yeah, right. he actually wrote that in 1981 for his church's 125th anniversary, uh, Tom Hegg did. So he drew, and he drew it from actual memories of his his memories from his childhood. So it was a personal experience, but we've what, all- What year was it, what year he wrote it? 1981. Okay, because I heard Zoom in and I heard- Pandemic. That was Bill's well, little that was my update. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bill had to make it, you know, current. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I was the mask. I, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, okay, that's why I asked him, did he write it? Because it was so present uh, moment. Yeah. You did a good job with that, Bill. Thank you. Yeah. So we want to wish all of you yes. just the merriest, merriest of Christmas, the, just knowing that you are so special to each of us, to both of us, and we just love you guys so much. Mm. And we just say Merry Christmas. We'll be Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yes, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And let's do a big Merry Christmas hug. 
Yeah. Everybody has. Okay. Yes, and we'll be able to do it for real before long, we hope. But yes. we just yes. love you guys. Yes. It's so nice yes. to see you. And we affirm that you truly celebrate a beautiful, sacred day of recognition and of remembering the truth of who you really are. You are divine. You are extraordinary. You are worthy. And we love you as you walk the spiritual path on positive, practical, prosperous feet. And thanks for spending part of your Christmas Eve with us. Yes. Uh, and and everybody, you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a very happy and New you Year. You too. You too. Yes. Yeah, your hair looks good. Thank you. I cut oh, that myself. You, you. Yeah. It, looks great. <laughs> it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. I appreciate that. <laughs> And so does yours. Yes, yours does too. I love the color. I, that's the color I'd like to do, but I don't have the guts. I, I think she's related to Lucy Arnaz. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 yeah. Same <laughs> color. Yep. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so the publisher of my book was, uh, she's in the mid 50s now, and she was continually redoing her hair. I said, no. <laughs> Let it go gray because you have earned every single one of oh. hair. <laughs> she does it. She looks gorgeous with a full yeah. head of gray hair. And she yeah, looks nothing wrong with beautiful wrong every day. With gray. Everybody day. just do what you feel most comfortable with, and that's what life that's is right. all about. Embrace right. the you. Feel most comfortable with. Embrace the you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is green right here. But just so you know, that is a green stripe right here. Oh, it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it's showing up bright red because it's it's re it's taken the the backdrop we have. Oh, wow. color the green screen. Isn't that wow. wild? Just, I just noticed it when I'm looking. Yes, so you're seeing the trans you're seeing me yeah. full transparency. <laughs> so, so happy soulful holidays, happy yes. Kwanzaa. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Happy, happy Hanukkah. Yes. Well, happy Hanukkah. yes. In fact, yes. I need to put, I put that on our website. The uh because I have a th mm -hmm. last year I put the Kwanzaa, what it means. Yes. So if you want to write a little thing for me, that'd be awesome. And yeah. happy boxing day for those yes. that are into that yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. isn't that a canadian holiday that that the boxing day is a canadian holiday isn't right. it? Yeah. it's british originally there's a lot of stuff anything you can do to celebrate go for it no. That's yes our, right okay. <laughs> it's all about celebrating <laughs> All righty. Merry have Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.